What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another VV Vision video. Just a solo for today. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of solos this weekend just because Carter cannot film uh, this weekend. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I know you want your Carter content, but this will have to do for now. I want to shout out all the subs. We got the giveaway coming up. Make sure to enter that. I think there's still roughly 300 entries or something like that, which is pretty low. Um, 1K coming up real soon, too. We got the giveaway for that. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm just going to be going over uh, the comic drops coming up and then kind of just just touch on Decon. Um, and then I'll wrap it up because I just want this video to be a quick little update. Uh, and yeah. Um, I want to start by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and let's get right into it. Okay. So to start off, Designer Con as a reminder, November 12th through 14th, it's that weekend. I believe this is going to be leading up to Disney Plus Day. Guys, this is going to be crazy. Okay. Because I mean, we've got Decon and Disney Plus and the drops leading up to Disney Plus Day simultaneously from what it sounds like i could be wrong please correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but i'm so hyped for this i don't know where i'm gonna get the gems for this i feel like a lot of people are in the same boat as me trying to sell a bunch of stuff right now so if you're looking to buy i'm guessing it's a really good time just because i'm guessing people are selling for a loss or really low you know floors are probably dropping just because everybody's trying to get some gems around because they're all fomoing okay everybody's you know afraid of missing out on these drops even I felt it today and I had to stop and think like, what are you doing? Like, this is FOMO. Stop it. You know, get some help. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they're also giving away a VIP pass. I do want to note that. So if you can make it and afford like a hotel or whatever, you know, uh, everything you need besides the VIP pass, I would suggest entering this. I don't think I'll be able to do it. So I'm not entering, but definitely a good opportunity. Uh, next, I'm going to get into the what if drops here we got the zombie spider-man and captain america also there's a vv uh ama that's been going on i had to miss it i've just been i've been real busy guys i'm sorry for the late upload and everything i'm gonna get two more videos out tonight but i have to eat okay i haven't eaten since like drinking coffee this morning that doesn't count so oh no 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 Whew, that was close imagine i enter in the middle of a video just rambling uh but yeah um to get to the drops, we're going to start with Spider-Man. Woo! All right. We got Modern Marvel Series 5, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Not even zombie. Okay, this is cool. After a virus escapes the confines of the quantum realm through Janet Van Dyne, the Earth is cap cap catapulted. Whoa, I can't read. Uh, into a worldwide zombie apocalypse where even the Avengers have been infected. From the fifth episode of Marvel Studios' What If, we delve into this alternate reality where a small band of heroes attempt to save the world, or rather what's left of it, when disaster strikes. This is hype. I mean, this makes me want to watch the uh, What If series, and I think that's kind of the goal of Vivi pairing up with all these major licenses. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a blind box. We've got a common and an ultra rare here. Let's get into the mints because this is what surprised me. We've got 18,200 mints, uh, $50 blind box, but 18,200 mints on the common. I love the common pose, okay? <sighs> this is a hard one for me because I don't, just because of the high mintage, I don't think this is going to have crazy value, but I don't know the spider, the other Spider-Man uh, like collectibles well enough, but I'm I'm thinking this isn't gonna have a lot of resell value, and so I'm worried because I just don't have a lot of gems to spend right now. Uh, but I love both of these. I think the Spider-Man looks so cool, and the fact that he's a a zombie hunter Spider-Man. I mean, let's go! I uh, yeah, I'm hyped. So this is really cool. First appearance as well. That should be noted. So I think that might help the uh, the resale price maybe, but I'm guessing a lot of people are going to buy this common. And my price prediction for this is probably sitting around 50, you know, maybe a little less than 60. Uh, but yeah, I'm guessing roughly around 50. I need to find Carter. Uh, he sent me his like uh, price predictions because we can't do this video together, obviously. So I'll just read those off real quick. 
Um, for the Spider-Man, he was thinking 65, which I can see that. Okay. I agree with that. I'll, I'll take it. I mean, I'd take 65 over less than 60. So uh, next though, we got the ultra rare 3,800 editions. First appearance, once again, blind box format. So still 50 bucks. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is super cool. I like it. And for the price prediction, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go like, hmm, that's hard. I'm going to go 350 to 450, somewhere in there. I'm feeling like 300 range really low, but uh, like four to 500 on like you know a good day but i still think the market is just really low so it's hard to tell carter's price prediction is uh 620 for this i can see that um right after drop i'm thinking it's gonna kind of die down but at the same time this is spider-man 3800 edition so i could see it i mean i could also see it maybe going higher like up near 800 it's hard to tell because i just don't understand like i don't know the spider-man demand as well but yeah, that is, uh, that's what I'm thinking for the Spider-Mans. Um, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this and which of these two drops is your favorite and what you're thinking about price predictions for both of those because I'm, I'm hesitant, you know? I can't tell how much they're going to be worth. Here we've got the zombie Captain America, uh, you know, same situation except, uh, uh, where does it say? After trying to save the day when the virus initially breaks out, the first Avenger becomes infected. This must have digital collectible features, zombie Captain America and premium digital format. Okay, so this is first appearance, 18,200 mints. So I think that's slightly less than the uh, Spider-Man, which I think is interesting. But yeah, first appearance, common. We got Marvel uh, license. I mean, this is crazy. Just I'm still like processing the fact that we have Marvel licenses. Like that's insane but uh yeah for price predictions for this i'm thinking i personally ah this is hard i think i like the spider-man more but i think other people will like this collectible more and this might grow on me when i can view it in the app because it does look super detailed uh and so i'm kind of tempted to pick this up but i think we'll get into my drop strategy carter didn't tell me his drop strategy i'm guessing he's going to go for both of these uh, and try to get as many as he can of these. Um, but I think it's going to be really hard to even snag one considering like 25,000 comics, uh, you know, sold out in like less than half a second. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of price predictions for this, I'm thinking same range, uh, like 60 ish around there, maybe less. Uh, Carter was thinking 52. Okay. Okay. I think it will be, I don't know. I think there'll be a little more demand for this. So I'm, I'm gonna go a little higher than Carter. I'm gonna stick with like 60. Um, and then we've got the ultra rare here. I love this stance uh, as opposed to the ultra rare Spider-Man, but I, I like both the Spider-Man. Overall, I think I like the Spider-Man more. I really like this ultra rare pose though. Um, let's see, 3,800 mints, 50 bucks or gems. Uh, in terms of price predictions for this, I'm going to go with like, uh, I'm going to go like 500. I'm going to go a little higher than Spider-Man on this just because I think this pose is a little bit cooler. You know, it's all subjective, but uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit cooler. And I think this uh, collectible in general is slightly more detailed than Spider-Man maybe. But then again, uh spider-man i feel like has a huge fan base overall uh but yeah still first appearance on both of these so i'm thinking thinking they'll have some decent prices on the aftermarket i'm excited to see though let me know in the comments which one you like more uh you know which one you're more excited for and everything like that uh yeah i mean now that i'm looking at this a little bit closer originally i was thinking i was just gonna skip this but i am tempted to try for it because this ultra rare is really cool it's a hard one. Let me know what your guys' drop strategy is. If you're going for both, just one. If you like both, uh, and if, whether you like the common or ultra rare more, I like the ultra rare more for the Captain America, and I think I like the common more for the Spider Man. Even though I definitely want to get that uh, ultra rare. But yeah, that that's all I got. Once again, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's hit the little refresh here. See how many subs we got. 
Woo! We're almost there. We got like what 30, no, 34 subs left to go. So I mean, let's go. Let's go, homie homies. Uh yeah, but thank you so much for all the support. I'm sorry for the late video. I'll try to get some more videos out tonight. I just really need to go eat. I'm super hungry. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, good rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Uh, and I'm sorry that my camera quality is, you know, similar to a potato, but uh yeah, maybe, maybe we'll fix that in upcoming uh years of this channel. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support tuning in. I mean, VV Vision signing out. We'll see you in the next one. Let's go.